everyone, we're at Dolt Hub. My name is Max, and this is a Dolt in Docker tutorial. I'm gonna walk through two examples. One, how to run Dolt as a command line tool. Second, how to run Dolt as a SQL server in a Docker container. So if you want more information on these tutorials, the best resources offline are going to be the Dolt Hub docs, where we walk through these examples in depth, and additional ones like how to use Dolt in a Docker Compose file. And the Docker docs are also going to be useful because a lot of this work isn't necessarily dual specific. It's Docker boilerplate. So that, that these docs can be helpful. So jumping into it, we are going to run Dolt as a command line tool just in a Docker image, which is going to be three steps. The first step is defining a Docker file. So we're going to take one of these. I'm going to use an Ubuntu base image, Ubuntu's package manager to get curl, and curl to get to the Dolt executable. Dolt executable is a single file that creates, that includes everything that we need to run Dolt. So now we're going to build this Docker file, which is going to run the install commands and cache an image named Dolt test. As a last step, we're going to run this image as a container, confirm it has Dolt, and then we're going to create a database. So we've ran Dolt in the Docker container, but if we exit, we see that our database didn't stick around. So a slightly more useful way of running this is going to be by making a local directory called test and then mounting this in Docker within Docker is called a whoops, persisted volume. So we're going to run mostly the same command with the same image. Instead of calling bin bash here, I'm going to call a different entry point go straight to the Dolt SQL shell, um, but we're mounting this volume test and we're setting the default working directory to test. So now when we create database and we exit, that sticks around inside this test folder, which is gonna be much more useful for persisting data in our database. So now to the second tutorial, we're gonna run Dolt as a SQL server. It's gonna look much same as the first here we're using CentOS, which has a different packet manager, but essentially the same process. In curl, use curl to get Dolt. And here we're setting some default Dolt configs. So how this differs from the first examples, we were setting the entry point dynamically at runtime. Here the bash shell, here the Dolt SQL shell. Now in the image, we are setting Dolt as a default entry point with Dolt server as the default options for that entry point. Oops. So let's build this. Whoops, server. I'm going to use the same image name, but a different Docker file this time. And then I'm going to reset this test directory. It's just so we have a fresh one. Hop back and run this build server. So essentially the same command as the previous ones. Dolt test image, we're going to set the working directory and the volume. And now I'm going to map the port inside this container to 3306 on our computer so that I can access the server running, running our running our Dolt database. Now I'm going to access this from externally. So we can see we're accessing this container running in Docker from a new window, and I'm going to create a table. And we still see our logs, just to confirm what we suspect. I'm going to go to our test directory, run the Dolt shell on our computer, and make sure that we correctly wrote data from our local computer into a SQL server running in Docker. So that concludes the tutorial. Um, if you want more information on what we talked about today, again, the Dolt Hub docs talk about these steps in much more depth and also have additional tutorials. And then because a lot of this is Docker boilerplate, the Docker reference documentation will also be helpful. Look forward to more tutorials on Dolt SQL and SQL Server. Thank you.